Welcome to Update 1.77, Advancing Storm, the first Big War Thunder update in 2018. The biggest change this patch brings is the new Dagor Engine 5.0, which will completely change your in-game experience. But there are also new awesome ground vehicles and aircraft, reworked sounds, many, many improvements and new features. Get ready, the storm is advancing. We have very big plans for 2018. The first thing we'd like to show you this year is the new version of our game engine, the Dagor Engine 5.0, and the plethora of visual improvements that come with it. First, we have implemented a new landscape creation technology, which makes the ground surface you see in the game much more realistic and detailed. Water in puddles will now reflect the objects around it as well as react to shots and the movement of vehicles. In some cases, water will also appear in the track ruts left by the player's vehicles in the mud. That's not all. You will see a lot of different types of soil depending on the weather, from loose dust to complete slush. This is a global change that affects all ground locations of War Thunder. The new rendering technology has allowed us to implement brand new lighting and shading algorithms, resulting in more realistic and striking visuals. The game now has a technology for creating contact shadows on small objects and grass, and also shadows on effects like smoke or fire, which make them look more natural. War Thunder will also support dynamic global illumination, including reflected and scattered light from surfaces and area lights. That's not all. We also changed the way weather works. Our team has implemented realistic rainwater effects, and streams of rainwater now flow down and across surfaces. There is a breathtakingly beautiful layered fog, as well as dynamic clouds and sun, which moves on its own in real time in an astronomically correct way according to the geographical latitude of a location and date and time of a battle. As you see, Dagor Engine 5.0 completely changes the way War Thunder looks, but we haven't forgotten to add new, interesting vehicles. You'll see a lot of long-awaited names in Update 1.77. For example, tankers will be able to expand their collection with quite a few new high-rank machines. The sixth rank has seen the addition of some real legends. Take a look at the M1 Abrams, a true classic and a forefather of most modern US tanks. It now sits comfortably at the top of the American research tree. This machine embodied the most advanced military technologies and designs of its time, including separate ammunition storage in a blowout compartment. This meant that the crew could sometimes keep on fighting even after there'd been an outbreak of fire in the ammunition storage. Can you believe that? The Challenger is a British main battle tank, which is another star of the Western ground forces. Now, it can be found at the top of the British research tree. The creators of this beast banked on the extremely advanced Chobham armor and a great 120 mm gun, while also making the vehicle quite fast and maneuverable. The Leopard 2K isn't as heavily armored, but it's not as heavy either, which makes it very nimble. This German is much faster than you'd expect. It also has a killer gun with a fast reload rate and a top-notch stabilizer, which allows you to easily land your shots on the move. Furthermore, the Leopard has no problems dealing with low-flying aerial targets, thanks to the 20 mm gun that you've already seen on the KPZ-70. Another new top vehicle in Western ground forces is the long-awaited French AMX 30B2 Brinus, probably the most advanced model of its series. 112 reactive armor packages cover all the important spots. ERA packages increase a tank's defense against HEAT projectiles by up to 400 millimeters. This modification of the tank is heavier than its predecessors but an upgraded engine allows it to stay fast and agile. The Eastern Bloc isn't without new toys either. The Soviets get the new T-64B, a modernized version of the fan favorite, the T-64A. One of the best machines in the game, 
just got better. Now it has the capability of firing the Cobra guided missile, carries new smoke grenade launchers and comes equipped with new composite frontal armor with ultra porcelain inserts. What a beauty! The fastest way to the vehicles at the top are the new Rank 5 Premiums. Take a gander, for example, at the majestic Magach 3, an updated Israeli version of the American M48. The most vulnerable part of the tank, the massive Commander's Coppola, had been replaced with a new low-profile one. The tank has also had a new engine and transmission fitted, plus a great 105mm gun. All in all, this vehicle is very different from the original M48. It is a thoroughly modern machine. French tankers will be happy to see a premium version of the AMX-30. It is basically just an earlier version of the same tank with a high-caliber machine gun instead of a coaxial 20mm gun. But being a premium tank, it earns a lot more RP and Silver Lions, so there is that. Both tanks are available for purchase in our store. Pilots of War Thunder are also in for a treat. The Japanese KI-108 Interceptor was designed specifically to hunt the American Super Fortresses. This heavy fighter was equipped with a pressurized cabin to allow it to carry out high-altitude missions and outfitted with powerful cannons literally capable of tearing targets apart. The Soviets get a new Interceptor fighter of their own, the very unusual LA-200. The peculiar thing about this jet fighter is that its turbojet engines were fitted in tandem one behind the other. The French, in their turn, get a version of the fearsome MD-452 Mystère, which stresses its fighter-bomber capabilities with a rich selection of bombs and rockets. It also comes equipped with beefed-up armament that allows you to fight your opponents on your own terms. The British get an option to acquire the excellent Martin Baker MB-5, one of the best piston-engine fighter aircraft in the game, and a great alternative to the late Spitfires in the British research tree. Four 20mm guns, as well as the operating speed of over 700 kph. This bird means business and is ready to change the rules of high-ranked piston-engine aircraft warfare. This premium fighter is also already available for purchase in our store. Speaking of Spitfires, the Supermarine Spitfire Mark V gets a new, more detailed and realistic model, as well as two new modifications, B and C, that come without a dust filter. We also continue our support of the Revenue Share Program. In Update 1.77, we are proud to present yet another aircraft made by players and for players, the beautiful Heinkel HE 177 Greif. It's a surprisingly fast, two-engine, long-range heavy bomber that carries a vast arsenal of bombs and is protected by cockpit-controlled remote gun turrets. By the way, do you see its landing gear? An interesting design choice, don't you think? Update 1.77 Advancing Storm brings a lot to the table. Too much, in fact, for us to be able to cover it all in one short video. But there is one more thing that you simply have to hear about. We're proud to say that we initiated a major overhaul of in-game sounds. And today, we give you the new sounds for ground battles. In short, we completely overhauled how weapon firing sounds are formed for all ground vehicles. Now, each shot, whether you fire a main gun, an auto cannon, a machine gun, or even an ATGM, is made up of several layers of sound, which form peak and residual effects for each salvo. The sounds you hear in battle will also change drastically depending on the type and the density of the surrounding terrain. Moreover, we have added significant details to the interior sounds. Empty casings dropping, loading mechanisms, breach shutter, you name it. In other words, ground battles are a completely different experience now. Pump up that bass and see for yourself. Well, there you go. That's update 1.77, Advancing Storm. As usual, the full list of changes and improvements can be found on our website. The link is in the description. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on the social media of your choice. The storm is advancing. Welcome to the new War Thunder.